De. I look over my shoulder with a frown. My Yuri and Daru are following me, even though I didn't ask them to come. Karisu stayed back at the lab. Of course. It might be a bad idea to take the Ferris Stalker along. A really bad idea. Well, whatever. If Ferris has a problem with it, then she can send him away when we get there. Nothing else matters as long as I get Ferris to search for an IBN 5100. Of course, if the IBN 5100 is at Yanabayashi Shrine, that won't even be necessary. Though I doubt it is. I stopped by the shrine, but Lukako is not there. I guess he was out uh, when he answered the phone earlier. I've got no other choice, so I go to the humble shrine office and press the intercom button. Luca's dad comes out. When I try asking him about the IBN 51, uh, if the IBN 5100 was donated to the shrine, he answers, "It certainly was." But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere, and he has no idea where it went. I ask if he lent it. And lent me the IBN 5100 before, but that event is gone from his memory. What's going on here? While heading towards Ferris's place, I analyze the situation. The IBN 5100 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was just there a few days ago. It has also disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like God is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The D-mails definitely have something to do with this. I can only begin to imagine how the past has changed. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Ferris. The usual weekend crowd packs in front of Akiba Station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms diligently distribute flyers to passerby. I appreciate their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? After a few melon-boosting moments walking in the sun, I come to a sudden stop. I've caught sight of a woman squatting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on her phone. That's got to be lab mem, mem number five, Kiryu Moika. Wait, is she still a lab mem? Mayuri and Daru don't remember her. Well, whatever. There's something I need to ask her. I run up to Moika. I try getting her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. Okay, so I think my my theory was probably incorrect. She's still looking for the IBN 5100. <laughs> I'd thought that she had taken it somehow, but... FB. No reaction. Moeka stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, she just looks at my feet. My Yuri and Daru look a uh, askance at me, but I ignore them. しかし、お前はあのPCに異常な注射を見せていた。どうだ。やったのかやってないのか。IBN5100見つけたの。見つけたが、なくなった。the normally expressionless Moika frowns in bewilderment. Moika shakes her head faintly. Then she looks down and begins operating her phone at high speed. <laughs> You're not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find an IBM 5100? Where? She really doesn't know. 
the IBM 5100 had been stolen from the lab. Or if it had been stolen from the lab. Moeko, I completely agreed, but looks like we were both wrong. But the IBM 5100 disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine, not the lab. It can't have been Moeko's doing. Well, I thought that she might have gotten the lead before he did, and taken it from the shrine, but apparently not. So, it was the D-mail? Or perhaps it was the work of CERN? I squat in front of Moika and bow my head. だが、これだけは分かってくれ。俺は機関から命を狙われ続けた結果。誰も信じることができなくなってしまったんだ。why? Why did it have to be born with these gifts that no that others covet? Just tell me about the IBM 5100. <laughs> oh man. Alright, already. <laughs> Seems the final script checkers at Jazz took out Okabe's other nickname for Moika, Lame. Well, what was the other nickname? So Moika doesn't know I ha uh, know I had an IBN 5100. And judging by her responses, she hasn't found one either. I feel like I'm getting further and further away from my goal. Seuss? <laughs> For a second, I doubt my ears. I approach my Yuri. Uh what? I grab my Yuri by the shoulders and shake her. Her head bounces back and forth. Okay, this is definitely going off the rails of what I had expected. <laughs> Huh. And before, they hadn't met her at all, right? After Moika sent her D-mail, Mayuri, Daru, and Karisu behaved as if they'd never met her before. So somehow, Lukako's mail changed the past again? And... What? But now, both Mayuri and Daru know her? Does that mean that Moika's past was reconstructed again? Given the timing, it has to be Lukako's D-mail that did it. Yeah. But all he did was tell his mother to eat a lot of vegetables. How can that be related to the lab mem's knowledge of Moika? Is this another example of the butterfly effect? The cause doesn't match the effect at all. That's true. Let's think about the Moika issue later. Right now, we should look for the address written on the memo pad. Shh. 
源氏のうわ最悪っすよなんで純真な男たちの夢を壊そうとするかな<笑> Quit grumbling You just can't handle the truth でもいいどうなの知らないのマユシーが教えちゃってもいいのかな特に口止めされているわけでもないんだろうそれにこれから自宅に行けばすぐにわかることだぞあ,あそっかそうだよねその代わりね他の人には内緒だよ例えばメイクインに来るご主人様たちとかあのねあのねフェリスちゃんの本名は秋葉ルミホちゃんっていうんだアキハ instantly <laughs> アキハ instantly makes me think of Tsukihime I'm like wait what? No There's only one Akiha Daru covers his ears and drowns the sound out That's the same characters as、uh, in Akihabara Appropriate Our destination turns out to be the high rise apartment building next to UPX. Wow. <laughs> We stand there for a while, staring wide eyed at the towering building before us. According to the address Ferris gave me, she lives on the top floor. All the way up there. No. I wouldn't make such a stupid mistake. Demon Blood Akiha is best Akiha. Gotta love the hair. I quickly scan the area. No suspicious figures in sight. <laughs> Race Master. Amazing chest ahead. Oh man. That Dark Souls reference. Mosso. <laughs> 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 That cracked me off. <laughs> anyway, when we call the top floor room via intercom, we get greeted by the voice of an elderly man. He lets us, know he lets us in immediately once I introduce myself as Hoin Kyoma. It feels as if we're walking into a trap, but I can't turn back now. When we get off the elevator, the elderly man from the intercom is there to lead us inside. He turns、uh, out to be a silver ha haired gentleman in a tuxedo. In Dark Souls 2, I found a really silly message that you can put down that says, Try, try tongue, but whole. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. Dark Souls 2 is pretty godlike. It looks pretty awesome. I haven't played it, but. Anyway, now I'm digressing way too far off from the game, so. Focusing! Focus! He does indeed look like a stereotypical butler. He fits the bill so well, you wouldn't think he was anything else. I did not imagine Ferris to have anything like this. I'll say that. The butler leads us into a room. Ferris is standing before a large window with a panoramic view of Akiba. She, she's still wearing the cat ears and saying nya. I've never seen her wearing anything other than the usual maid uniform, so it's refreshing to see her in plain clothes. But why does she still have her cat ears on? That's a good question. I want to ask. I can't help but wonder. 
but I restrained myself. Even if I did ask, Ferris would just say something like, I was born with these, nya. Ferris's eyes twinkle when she sees Mayuri and Daru behind me. I silence them, uh, silence the mouth breaking Daru by inter uh, yeah, introducing his ribs to my elbow. みんな、ようこそいらっしゃいませにゃ。というか、自宅でもその語尾は変わらないのか。何のことかにゃ。あくまで飛ぼける気か。秋は海を。フェリスはフェリスにゃ。Whatever. I looked around the room again. The interior design and furnishings give a very refined impression. Hold that thought, I have mail. It's from... my assistant. Japanese TV shows are all boring, aren't they? But then again, all I watch in America are news and dramas. American TV sucks pretty bad these days. I'll tell you that right now. Um... boring. I agree with you there. Media in this country is controlled by the organization. It's the key to operating... Oops, I didn't mean to send that mail. Um... Anyway. <laughs> send mailbox. It's the key to operation stupidify Japan. <laughs> okay. It's elegant without being ostentatious. Actually, it's kind of a model home. There's nothing to suggest that this room is lived in. No dirty, dirty clothes, no used dishware, not even a speck of dust. That butler, or maybe even some real maids, if there's a butler, there have to be maids, right? Must be constantly cleaning up. Speaking of the butler, he's disappeared. I didn't even notice him leave. Yeah, the only, stu only stuff like HBO and Showtime have decent shows. Seems to be that way. I mean, I don't even really watch TV hardly at all these days. Like, I just see it passing when I do most of the time, but when I see that, I'm like, man, this is bad. <laughs> He's clearly a master butler if he can move so quietly. Ferris is Ferris. That's what I figured. Ferris says it's so nonchalant. な、なんという偉そうな態度。僕たちってフェリースさんにお願いしに来た立場じゃなかった。ほにゃ。じゃ、もうちょっとだけ詳しく話すと。この辺の土地はもともとうちのものだったのに。はあ。What did she just say? This land originally belonged to her family? Oh god. Mayuri's exclamation connects the dots in my head. Wow. Ferris nods with a proud expression. So she really is a rich girl character. Ferris wriggles her slender, slender waist and makes a gesture like a cat washing its face. And she decides to work at a cat girl made cafe. <laughs> So basically, the chaotic changes in Akiba are all a result of this cat girl's whims. What a monster! Ferris's expression suddenly darkens. Because the organization... Ferris approaches me with a bewitching expression. 
それは。Ferris gently strokes my cheek with her cool slender fingers. I feel myself falling under her spell. And then. She grins. Damn you, cat girl! How dare you make a fool of me! Daru starts fist pumping when he sees Ferris' as cute、uh, QC act. This is so goddamn surreal. Mayuri and Daru have,、uh, might have fallen for her charms, but not I. I thrust my finger at Ferris. Ferris <laughs> Nanyan. But instead, she looks at me with gleaming eyes. <laughs> That's my line. I wanted to threaten her, not seduce her. Is Ferris a masochist? ニャンニャン語を話し猫耳をつけている時点でそこにいるのはフェイリスなんだ。意識しすぎているのはお前の方だということだフェイリスそうなのかねお前は自意識過剰なのだ俺にとってお前はどこまで行っても勝てる気がしない猫耳メイドでしかない<笑>ありがとうね今日は Why is she thanking me? So actually that's kind of interesting I mean her character is now completely insane、uh, though it was Plenty insane before, but I think it gives us a little insight into her character in that she's always referred to Rintaro as Kyoma-san, and you know, his quote unquote true name, played along with his fantasies, all that. Probably because she would, you know, likes being this character, and so she likes to play along with his fantasy as well. Well, she's probably admiring my incredible、uh, mag magnanimity. Woo! Ah, 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 ah! Now then, let's finish this idle gossip and get down to business. So, t h e y s i b n and the Saint Rose are just coming here. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork and joking. Oh, my God, you're kissing a cork. Just an FYI. You know. Ferris points at the cat ears sticking out of her head. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned my hand to Ferris. Ferris's most power, terrifying power is the one known as Dubbing Tin. It allows her to steal other people's stories and add them to her own. I'm the one who named it, of course. The number 10 doesn't really mean anything. Ferris chuckles. But I notice something. Her eyes aren't smiling. 
Yes, I had a feeling that was it. Someone like her using it, who has so much influence, that could cause a lot of things to happen. <laughs> That's worrisome. Don't 18文字までのメールを送れるというレベルだ。ただし、これだけでもノーベル物理学賞ものであり、人類の歴史を塗り替える超絶スーパーな発明だがな。過去の誰かにメールが送れる。それって<笑> jumps up and down with joy. タイムマシンは我がラボにおける最重要機密事項だ。どうしても使いたいというならばラボメンになってもらう必要があるがラボメンって何かにゃあのねマユシーたちのサークルの仲間になるっていうことだよマユシー的にはねフェリスちゃんがラボメンになってくれるのはとっても嬉しいな右に同
僕も電話レンジ作ったのにそうなのにゃじゃあダルニャンもフェリスフライズオブトダルオカリンオカリンフェリスちゃんが喜んでくれてよかったね<笑>マユリお前は実に無邪気だな I take out my phone and put it to my ear. Oh, Fairies are mum mutton. I don't know, Mark, and he hung up tight. Shall say, Junna, I know, Commissary. I don't know, Commissary. What I don't know, Coke and Joke in the Jin Lu, you know, Kindan no Kajit there, time machine or scout for you, Yoko, me touched that somebody did. Then I twist my lips into a grin. My razor sharp, sharp, sharp teeth are probably glistening right now. I wish I had shark teeth. I don't know, Miss Lee, what you can die none of them. None. Gedo? Toa Hido, Yig Sadana. Anagachi Machigate, why not? Ha ha ha. Our Dmail experiments have reached a standstill. Yeah, I tend to agree, Illusion, that, uh, that uh, Rintaro is more likable than Taku, but yeah, I at least remember his name. I do say that Taku was an extremely human character in Chaos Head, though. The way that he, you know, wasn't the type of hero that would, uh, you know, get up and just immediately take action. He was a very reluctant hero, and I, I liked that part way, but I feel like it took it to ex extreme. At some points, the majors be like, "Oh God, come on, Taku, come on, man." But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Karisa refuses to become a subject, and Mayuri and Daru are too dumb to be useful. <laughs> we managed to experiment on Moeka and Lukako, but we still need more data. Along comes Ferris. She's going to provide me with both an IBN 5100 and new data. Two birds with one stone. Uh, <laughs> Oh man. Someone taps me on the shoulder after I put away my phone. Right after that, they blow into my ear. <laughs> Ferris. Ferris is behind me. She must have finished servicing Daru while I was still on the phone. No doubt she heard everything. <laughs> so far, Rintaro is one of my favorite protagonists in recent memory, so... For me, Rintaro is easily trumping Taku, you know, personally. Just because he's so silly, I enjoy that. She's certainly in a hurry. Time machine. This time, we'll make use of the phone wave name subject to change. Uh, original function and send the D-mail by remote control. Karisu should still be in the lab. I'll leave the setup to her. I ask Ferris where she wants the D-mail to go. 
She says she's sending it to her father ten years ago. I take down his email address. The destination is April 3rd. It has to be at 8 a.m. that day, so we use an online calculator to factor in leap years, resulting in... Ooh, 86,168 hours. Damn. Yeah, I'm so pumped for the Tsukihime remake when it finally comes out, Rice Master. Our previous experiments have confirmed that. Freaking yeah, freaking uh, Satsuki route. You Butterfly Coconut. The fact that the D mail was sent is erased, leaving behind only the mail in the recipient's phone. At least that's what our experiments have shown so far. Now, let's call Karisu. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Gotta love it. So, yeah, kill a little show. Okari no demo no shikatani tayo de kirinoa. Tabu, bokto, my you see good eyes on it. Oh, man. Again. Hello. おお、<笑><笑> <laughs> I saw it coming that time, but still. Dakara Okari no Devani Tayo Sur Skirva Bokto Mayushishka Motte Naito Nando Yeba. I quickly redial. Hello. An Okabe Lintaro Deskedo. Devarenji Kako Karino Seteo Skoshi Ijite Hoshin Desu. Hazimekara so Yeba Ino Yo. Demo.電話レンジ使うの I tell her Ferris's dad's email address. And I have her set the timer. I turn to Ferris. I already told her the phone wave, name subject changes, email address. Ferris nods. <laughs> hmm? What happened to her usual confidence? <笑><笑><笑> Daru, you horny fool! Are you siding with Ferris? And you call yourself a super hacker. Ferris covers her phone with her body. It looks like she plans on hiding it to the bitter end. Should we halt the experiment? An impatient Karisu nags me through the phone. Don't rush me, damn it! 
とプライベートな内容だから制作するのは良くないと思うんだ What? Even Mayuri's on Ferris' side? She was like this with Moeka too. This is bad. I thought I had Ferris in the palm of my hand. Was I dancing to her tune all along? Damn it. I submitted to the cat girl. I nod to Ferris after giving. Uh, getting Karisu's report. Ferris puts her finger on the send button and. <laughs> Things have changed. As the dizziness fades, I quickly or I exhale slowly and open my eyes. All right, world, show me your new form. Man, I wish I knew what kind of mail Ferris sent. First things first, I'm still in our room. When I look out the window, the Akiba sprawl uh, greets me. I scan the room. So, let's go. Card open! What are they doing? The three of them are sitting around a table playing some kind of game. Ayuri puts her fingers to both of her eyes as if to mine tears. Anyway, it looks like they're playing the Rynet Axis Battlers. It happened again. Reading Steiner. I'm the only person in the world who keeps his memories after the past changes. Ferris's D mail worked. That's why the three of them are now playing a card game instead of waiting for Ferris to press the button. Ferris never even sent the D mail. If I look at her phone, there won't be any record of it in her sent history. And even if I demand that she tell me what she sent, she won't be able to answer, because the very fact that she sent it has been erased. The only trace of the D-mail is in the recipient's phone, namely, Ferris's father's phone, ten years ago. But that ten-year-old mail data was most likely erased long ago, so I don't think we can check. I have to figure out what changed the hard way. Let's start by looking for differences. New mail from our assistant gathers a cockroach gale to help me. You're sending me a mail about that. I'll teach you the hoeing art of cockroach sling. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Whew. Oh, that's my area. <laughs> たとえの試合とはいえ、ディフェンディングチャンピオンが負けるわけにはいかないにゃ。それに今度の大会では絶対に優勝するってパパとも約束したのにゃ。その日まで誰にも負けられないにゃ。パパ。フェリスナッツハ
全力で祝福したいわけだがその日の夜は空いてるかい夜はパパと二人でお食事にゃそうそうあのね決勝戦はラボのみんなで応援に行くねありがとにゃ決勝の相手ってバイラルアタッカーズとかいうコンビだったっけ下馬評じゃノーマークだったのにまさかフェイリスタンのライバルであるイディオナを任しちゃうとはなフェイリスタンとイディオナのデュエルは毎回神がかってるから今回も楽しみにしてたのに他のライネッターの試合は全然見てないんやけどバイラルアタッカーズってそんなに強いのかにゃまフェイリスタンの敵じゃないよフェイリスタンは最強フェイリスタンは神くにゃーんそこまで持ち上げられると照れるにゃー<笑> As I listen to their conversation, I feel a strange churning in my gut. Something's not right here. A voice whispers from deep within, deeper than in、uh, reason. I play the conversation back in my head and soon realize the source of my discomfort. The Ferris I knew had never been to an official r i g h t n e t tournament, and she also hadn't talked about her father like that. And yet now she's about to compete in the tournament finals. Which means that she's been going to tournaments for a while. Is this the change that Ferris wanted to make? Considering the recipient was her father, maybe he was strict and wouldn't let her go to the tournaments. But is that a reason to change the past? Ferris is only 17 years old. It's not too late for her to start participating in tournaments. If there were an age limit to Rhinet tournaments, that would be one thing. I guess it was just that important to her? Moment, someone knocks on the door, but first, mail. Naichan killed it for me. Naichan did. Thank God she was here. Japanese roaches are so fast, so scary. Wow, the little girl killed it for you. Uh, nice typo. You used the kanji for wither. Something tells me that's not the name her daddy gave her. At that moment, someone knocks on the door. The door opens halfway and a middle aged man appears. It's not the butler. Stray, Lumiho, Scotchy, Egane. Papa! Ferris quickly gets up and leaves the room. God, Fadis done no dosamaka. I said, still come out to my screen. Fadis done the papa, that's all done, not there, man. Ferris soon returns. Then she turns to us and puts her hands together in a gesture of apology. Butler see us off. Her dad tells us to come visit again. Ferris' dad seems like a cool guy. He's not pompous like you expect rich people to be. The sun is setting, but there's a,、uh, still a crowd in front of Akiba Station. More foreigners than usual. People come from all over the world to buy electronics and otaku goods in Akiba, but it looks like the satellite's attracting some as well. Man, it's hot. Less than a minute outside, and I'm already drenched in sweat. Ferris' air conditioned apartment was a slice of heaven. I'd love air conditioning in the lab, but we don't have that kind of money. Anyway, how about some food? I turn around to ask Daru and Mayushi what they think. To 
rare for him to call her Mayushi, but anyway, Mayuri is not there. Did Stardust Handshake activate again? I scanned the area. There she is, walking casually towards the station. She's already about 50 meters away. I chase after her. Mayuri, Mayuri does this a lot. She just wanders off without saying anything. And just like Daru said, you never notice she's gone. So when you turn around to look for her, it's like she vanished into thin air. Stardust handshake and sneaking fade. Why did her powers have to be so annoying? <laughs> Daru and Mayuri stare at me blankly. I follow my pointing finger. Taro uh, Noorana isn't there. I rub my eyes and blink several times. It doesn't help. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong place. I check up and down the street, but no, it's nowhere to be found. And what's more, I can't find Animate either. It's supposed to be right next to Tanorana. Instead, I see electronic stores. Daichi Kaden and T-Zone... or... T... yeah, t 2 own <laughs> Minami? I don't know. Never seen them before in my life. Wait. I remember Mr. Braun saying that Akiba used to have a lot more electronic shops. Many of them closed. I think Daichi Kanden and T Tone Mi uh, Minami were among them. What about earlier today? I wasn't really paying attention on the way to Ferris's apartment, but I'm pretty sure they were still there. The feeling again. Dissonance. My memories don't match reality. The past has changed. Part of me knows what has happened. But I still can't help but ask. They shake their heads. They look confused. So basically, I swallow hard. I finally understand. It's hard to believe, but I must face the truth. 
Every last store that sold anime, Arab, or Moe goods has disappeared from Akiba. In a final desperate attempt to deny reality, I run to May Queen plus Neon to the second, the maid cafe where Mayuri and Ferris work, and which Daru and I frequent. But upon arriving at the storefront, I'm forced to my knees in abject defeat. No. Man, Ferris. <laughs> you fuck shit up. It's all gone. It's not just the Moe stores. Even the maid cafes have disappeared. Mayuri. I asked Daru too, but no reaction. All of the Moe is gone from Akiba. <laughs> I don't want to live in this timeline anymore. <laughs> there is no Dr. Pepper. There's Dr. People. <laughs> it's clear now. This has to be the result of Der Ferris's D-mail. The butterfly effect is added again. Ferris said she had influence over Akiba's development board. They adopted her plan and embraced the Moe industry. But by sending a D-mail to 2000, the world line has shifted to one where that never happened. Akiba is still electronics all the way. To think that a single mail could rewrite 10 years of a town's history. Is it okay to change history on a whim like this? I almost feel guilty about it, but since I'm the only one who remembers the original Akiba, nobody can blame me. And it's not like I can change it back. But still, what in the world did Ferris's D-mail say? Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. Unfortunately though, I do need to, to make a call, and um, I'm probably going to get some food and stuff, so I'm going to take a break for one or two hours where it's safe. And then I'm probably going to stream a little more, but uh, unfortunately I don't have quite as much time today as I did yesterday, so I can't, uh, I can't stream too much more, but I will do a little more. So thank you guys very much for watching, I do hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you all next time.